hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel cook with phyllis where i share easy homemade recipes thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe down below you can also follow me on instagram at cook underscore with underscore phyllis so are you looking for an easy and quick lunch recipe then this is for you Okay, so I have my pork ribs over here, which I cleaned and uh, dried it out with kitchen tissues. It has to be like wet free. So I have my spices over here as well. I have black pepper. I have uh, cayenne pepper, cumin powder, cajun spice. I love the cajun because it's good for steak, salt. So I'm going to mix all the spices together. So one teaspoon each. Then we're going to mix them all together and then we're going to start spicing up our pork ribs. So we're going to spread it all out like that. You have to make sure the pork rib is totally dry. And then we're going to spread it out like that. You have to make sure each and every corner is marinated. Then we're going to put it in the oven. So we preheated the oven on high heat. So we're going to put it and after each and every like five to 10 minutes, we have to check on it and turn on the other side as well. So we have to make sure to keep on checking then on the other side we're going to make the sauce so i have a uh, barbecue sauce i have ketchup and i have uh, honey so we're going to mix them in a pan so since i'm not using any measurements so this is like three tablespoons each you can make depending on how uh, much pork ribs you have so we're going to bring it to a boil like for three minutes on minimum heat so once it boils for like let's say three minutes just keep it aside then we're going to check on our pork ribs okay so at this point the ribs are very well cooked so we're going to apply our sauce you have to make sure it, the sauce goes each and every corner just to make the ribs very juicy and tender so we have to make sure each and every part is met. Then after we are done, we're going to put it back to the oven for like five minutes just to give it that crunchy, uh, juicy taste and your pork is ready to be served. You can see how perfect they look like, the tenderness, the crunchiness the color itself then we're going to prepare our potatoes so I have my peeled potatoes over here I have my salt pilau masala I love the pilau masala because it's mixed spices cayenne pepper black pepper and turmeric so we're going to cut our potatoes so just section it three times and then we're going to cut them like uh, wedges so this is how it look they should look like
then we're done we're going to add our salt followed by the cayenne pepper you can add this to your liking if you like very hot spicy or medium or mild we're going to add our black pepper as well then our pilau masala i love the pilau masala because it's a mixture of cumin cardamom cinnamon then we're going to add the turmeric this is nice for the color then we're going to add our olive oil then we're going to mix them all up together make sure each and every part is marinated very very well and then we're going to put it in the oven and after each and every 15 minutes as well you have to check on them just turn slowly just to avoid them breaking you can like scoop from down and just lift a little bit just to turn then after like 20 minutes of cooking i have my crushed uh, coriander over there with garlic i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and i'm going to spread on top of the potatoes this will give that freshy garlicky taste then we're going to put it back to the oven for like another 10 minutes and your potatoes are done ready to be served The best part is always how crunchy they are and the garlic and coriander taste is just like amazing then finally we're going to make our salad so we're going to make a Russian salad so we have our carrots potatoes and green peas we have our black pepper and we have salt so we're going to mid like on a medium heat we're going to boil the ingredients like steaming just slightly steaming them So each will be like for the peas and the carrots you're going to steam them for like three minutes each for the potatoes we're going to give them at least five minutes then we're going to mix them all together in a bowl Then we're going to add salt followed by the black pepper we're going to mix them all up then we're going to add uh, mayonnaise so this is like three and a half uh, tablespoons we're going to mix them all up and then we're going to put it in the fridge to chill so this salad is best served when it's chilled. Okay guys, so this is it. I hope you get to enjoy the recipe. And if you have any suggestions or any feedback, don't forget to put them on the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe for more recipes to come.